Right, it's 8.46. Some people, I'm sure, who've got some Olympic memories. Uh, might be more fashion towards the, Olymp- the uh, Winter Olympics, though. Who knows? We'll speak to them in just a moment. All will become clear, but uh, I'm joined by a studio full of people because we are talking about the legacy of the Olympics today and the future generations of sports stars that it may well inspire. We'll be talking about this lot in a few years' time, I hope. Uh, the GB Lions consists of five junior ice hockey teams from under nines to under seven teens who predominantly hail from Sheffield and Chesterfield. Now, what an opportunity they've been given. I'd love to be going with them. They've been invited to play in all five boroughs of New York and New Jersey as part of a tour in December of this year. How good is that, by the way? In the studio is Sean Ibrahim, the tour manager, ice hockey legend and coach Ron Shudra. Not sure about the legend part. And both their sons, Alex, who is Sean's son, and Cole, who is Ron's son, who are playing on the tour. Uh, Sean, before we get to the real superstars of this, and I'm not talking about Ron Shudra, uh, tell us what the idea is behind this tour. Uh, the idea uh, goes back back to uh, probably 92 where we um, became friends with an American team. We've been going back and forth on alternate years and uh, the, real, the real crux of it is to give uh, kids on both sides of the Atlantic the chance to see a different environment. They both speak the same languages, you know, they, they, you know it's different accents but it's the same sport and uh, it's a chance for them to sort of see a bigger world and... Um, you know, just raise their uh, expectations and, uh, you know, just generally sort of uh, uh, benefit from the, these sort of things uh, wherever possible. So uh, we, as I say, this time round now, it, it, the, the size of the tour back then was around three, four, then we went to nine, then we went to 20. Now it's uh, 157 with 80 players. Wow. But there is a, com- I mean, I've been to the States, there is a completely different thirst for this sport isn't there over there it will be it will be quite a culture shock for some of these guys for the yes i'd say yes from what they see in the uk to going over there it it will be uh but that's the whole idea that's why we're doing it and how Uh, many games are you going to play uh we're playing six games and they've been invited on the ice uh at an nhl game which is the equivalent of maybe playing at manchester united stadium so they'll be in a packed house playing in front of twenty thousand people Wow, we're going to come to Ron in just a moment. I'm going to keep him hanging on. Okay. Uh, Let's talk to young Cole and young Alex. Uh, Good morning to you guys. You okay? Yeah. Come a bit closer to that microphone for me if you can. (laughs) You must be incredibly excited. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah? And going to New York, have you ever been to the States before? Either of you? I've never been, no. No? And uh, what are you expecting from the trip then? What are you looking forward to the most? Well, uh, I'm looking forward to just like, you know, just meeting a lot of new people and talking to an old friends and things like that, playing hockey, you know, just seeing the sights of New York and everything, just meeting everyone. How good are you guys? Well, Alex might be better than me. <laughs> <laughs> are you better yeah. than him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what, what, what's your ambition then for later on in life? Do you want to play this sport full time? Do you want to make a career out of it? Yeah, Def. I'd like to play, I don't know, maybe in America, Canada... Even just to play hockey when I'm older, just mm. anywhere. Like. Well, let's talk to a man who knows a bit about playing this game. Ron Shudra, welcome. Nice to see you. Good to see you again. Um, how important is it that these kids get this opportunity, do you think? Oh, it's it's hugely important. I mean, you look at um, the way that the sport is in, in the UK here and... Uh, you know, it's it's a great idea that they've come up with Sean in the past, and that to uh, to have this exchange of of, of kids to go, uh, obviously North American, to see the styles and and the discipline and how hard uh, they have to work, and and uh, you know, I think it's starting to uh, to pay dividends over here. We've got a lot of players now uh, coming up through the England and GB ranks that mm-hmm. are uh, going across and playing in a lot of different places. There's a lot of kids now uh, going across to the prep schools and playing. Uh, in and around uh, the US and Canada and, and that's only going to be better for the sport in, in general is hopefully you know increase their awareness of, of what's going on around and how hard they have to work and if you bring that back and, and teach some of the littler ones and the younger ones uh, what it takes to to be successful and uh, uh, not just the uh, the hockey bit but the schooling bit and everything else it, it's going to be a benefit. Do things like the Olympics help? Oh you know, I think so Just yeah. seeing people you know who are absolutely so committed to their sport four years of hard work commitment nothing else do do things like that help when you're trying to get these kids on board i think it does i mean i've i've been i've been watching the uh the games myself and and inspired by some of the uh the things that have been going on uh i think it's uh it's a great thing to uh to uh 
involve a whole country, so to speak. Um, you know, you look around and you see uh, north, south, east and west people getting together, mm. whether it's in a pub or wherever. Uh, it didn't matter. You know, if it's a north-south divide, there's no such thing anymore. When that comes to it, it's everybody's cheering for the British athletes. And, and being a Canadian transplant, I was. You know, I was uh, uh, as excited to see the GB guys winning uh, and competing uh, as, as anybody. And uh, I was there cheering them on as well. Mm. How far have we got to go, though, to catch up with the likes of the U.S. and Canada where ice hockey is concerned, for example? Well, I think it, it comes down to, to funding. Um, you know, Canada and the U.S., you know, Canada definitely they're they're a winter winter nation in the Olympics. Um, you know they do okay in in summer, but uh, more of the funding is is placed on the winter winter games. Uh, the U.S. You know they're just such a, a big and powerful country as it is. Mm. They've got the money, so to speak, to uh, to put towards all the athletes, and uh, it shows the bigger countries that send uh, send more more athletes and uh, invest more heavily are uh, are the ones that are, are being victorious. But it's great seeing you know a first for nations winning a medal here and, and that and and that's only only growing the competitive nature of, of sport yeah and, and how will you measure whether this trip has been a success or not smiles on their faces if you, if you go over and you see them enjoying them and and the thing is 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 they've they've all got some friends now that are that are in in the u.s teams uh with kids that have come over and back and and they've known kids now for you know half a dozen eight years now seven eight years mm. um you know, you're looking at the at the boys' ages now. One, you know, 14 and and 11. So they've been in, involved in it for you know three te- at least three terms. Well, well, I'd measure the success uh, with the older kids. They go over on their own and they're their own steam, and the family have made friends. Once they start going on their own, you know, it's yeah. there's only a reason. That's the reason they're going. And will they behave themselves? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I, I saw you glance they, across they, there. They, 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 will, yes, they will. <laughs> they, they, they will fly the flag for the country um, and, you know, they, they'll have fun. Yeah. You know, and, that, and that's what we're there to have fun. You know, we're there to, to enjoy. But they fly the flag and, you know, when they need to be, they'll fly the flag and they'll represent this country and they'll do us proud. Well, enjoy. Very, very jealous. And do let us know how it goes. Bit of a wait yet, but it will soon be here. It'll fly around, won't it, Ron? Oh, it has and it will do, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, good luck with it all. And uh, don't worry about the nerves. It's natural. Only natural playing in front of 20,000 people in an NHL game. You know, what game is it, by the way? Uh, I think it's New Jersey. Is it versus Montreal, is it? All right, so a small fixture then yeah. in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> Enjoy it, guys. Thanks for coming. Love to see you. Lovely to see you. Uh, there you go. That's a good little story for you, isn't it? Uh, 0114279669. Good luck to the guys there. We want your Olympic moments after nine o'clock. Uh, Ron, just quickly, as a sportsman yourself who made a career out of it, what was yours? Pick one. Uh, pick one. I liked uh, Jessica Ennis coming across the finish line. I mean, obviously a Sheffield girl, but uh, just to see the emotion in the faces of the of the uh, the athletes uh. okay uh, my name's sean ibrahim and i live in uh, sheffield and uh, i'm the manager of the gb lions later this year i'm taking uh, a group of 157 people which consists of 80 players divided into five youth ice hockey teams to new york uh, in december they're going to play a series of six games right across all five boroughs and New Jersey City. They're being invited to um, some big arenas to play in front of large crowds. Uh, we're getting involved with the city of New York itself in some parades and some PR. And uh, the idea is to promote British ice hockey at a junior level and uh, to give the, the, the players and kids and family uh, a very sort of exciting two weeks uh, while we're there. Uh, I, for, I would say for the majority it would be the first time that they've played abroad and to play you know in America where <clears throat> it's like bringing a, a child from let's say Africa to play at Manchester it's it's the home of hockey if you like so it's a big thing how did you get involved with it uh, I've I've been involved my oldest son's been playing since the uh, early 90s and uh through a, a tournament, I met uh, a f- uh, one of my best friends uh, in America, and uh, he's allowed me to sort of set up these tours. So he organizes the ice time and everything on the ground over there, and we alternate. I'll do the same for him. And we, we've grown it from taking maybe eight or nine players 
to today the biggest tour ever 157 people right and you're getting your own plane we <laughs> Pretty much, well, it's not quite like that. Uh, what it is, is we, we've got all, apart from upper class, we've got everything else. And uh, I think because the booking got so big, I think they've rescheduled another flight. So, that, yes, technically it is our own plane. <laughs> Great. And uh, what are you hoping to achieve from this? Well, uh, as I said, uh, raising the profile for uh, British ice hockey, that's on both sides of the Atlantic. More so on, on this side. Uh, the, the reason we need to raise profile on this side of the Atlantic, obviously we've just come past the Olympics. The Olympics has been a huge inspiration and it's going to, all of a sudden, uh, kids are going to join tennis clubs and um, athletics clubs, etc. Uh, from a winter's sports point of view, it, it means that we've got to fight harder for our lifeblood, which is the youngest kids. And uh, I need to sort of raise the profile and uh, let people be aware, hence you know, this, this kind of interview, that uh, they can come along to the rinks. There's a rink in Sutton, there's a rink in Sheffield. Two of the teams involved, um, massively involved, the, the, the teams have combined to do this tour. And uh, if kids go along and want to get involved, they just turn up at the rink, see the reception, they'll put them in touch with the contacts. Uh, if they're not sure whether they can skate, they'll be given, you know, trials. They're given kit if they like, you know, they're given a loan of equipment. So it's not too expensive to start. And obviously if they like it, they then buy whatever they want to buy and join up. So, but we, we try and make it as easy as possible for kids to join the sport. You're taking hundred and well over uh, eighty players, and you're saying that a lot of them are from this kind of region. Why do we have so many good ice hockey players? Uh, <coughs> it stems well. You, you've got two two big projects on the go. You've probably got the, the best ice rink uh, in the country, the best facilities in the country in Ice Sheffield, which has two pads, and it certainly is. It is absolutely the best. Not far away um, is Nottingham again with an excellent excellent twin pad facility and then you've got a young and up and coming uh, local club Sutton with a brand new facility so putting uh, three clubs in a tight region it, it, it's basically the heart and soul of ice hockey in the UK is in the, absolutely in this region My name is Alex and I am 10 years old. Right. Are you going on this tour then later this year, Alex? Yeah. And what does it mean to you to be going to America? It means a lot because I've already been and I've made a lot of new friends. So I'm looking forward to making new friends and developing with my team. Great. And, and how did you get involved in ice hockey? Because it's not a normal sport for kids to get involved mm. in. Well... My dad introduced me to this sport and I like, oh, this... 80 young ice hockey players, the majority from Chesterfield and Sheffield, have been invited to play in America. The GB Lions are heading to the US as part of a tour later this year to promote British ice hockey. They'll also play during a break of an NHL game in front of 20,000 fans. Sean Ibrahim's their manager. I would say for the majority it would be the first time that they've played abroad and to play you know in America where it's like bringing a, a child from let's say Africa to play at Manchester it's it's the home of hockey if you like it's a big thing five junior ice hockey teams made up of players from Chesterfield and Sheffield are getting to play in America the GB Lions are traveling to the US the home of hockey to promote the British game manager Sean Ibrahim explains why our region has so much talent the best facilities in the country in Ice Sheffield which has two pads not far away is Nottingham and then you've got a young and up-and-coming local club Sutton the heart and soul of ice hockey in the UK is absolutely in this region